practice this week? Kids did a good job. I think you saw them today. They were energetic, excited to be out here, and excited for another opportunity. So, um, you know, you throw the new stuff at them on Tuesday, and hope they start to get it. Wednesday, you try to get a little more polished up, and Thursday, you hope it's pretty clean. And it appeared to me uh, it was pretty clean. I was mostly over there with the defense, so we'll watch the offensive tape. But uh, I think that it was a good solid week of practice, and the kids are excited. What have been kind of the focal points as far as areas you're trying to zero in on for this game? Well, I, I think if you so talk about a team. In my opinion, we still have yet to you know, put a good, really two or three consistent quarters together as a football team, offense, defense, and special teams. And you know, in this league, that's imperative. You know, we'd like to say it's all four quarters. It doesn't always happen that way, but that's a really an emphasis with the team. And that's something you talk a lot about, but you have to be able to get that done. And on the offensive side of the football, it's you know it's, it's going to be consistency. Take what's there, um, be efficient in the run game, give ourselves an opportunity to have manageable third downs. Keep the chains moving and score points, and you know we've got to be able to uh, we've got to be able to get that done, and that, that's a big part of it. On defense, you know we've done uh, we've got to get ourselves in a position to get in those third downs and then win them, regardless of how we have to win those third downs to get off the field, make the other team punt, um, and understand, especially in this game, you know Washington State is going to have their opportunities to move the football. They always move the football. It's hanging in there, get to the next play, get to the next drive, you get to the red zone, kind of buck up a little bit and find a way to get out of it. So it's, uh, I think the scheme is in place to help the kids go get it. And like I told them after practice, they'll, they'll go out there and they'll get a W when they absolutely deserve that. And I think they've worked hard enough. Now we've got to go get it. When you talk about putting together two or three or four, ideally four quarters together, mm -hmm. you can't talk about it, but what can you do tangibly to try to you know, work, work towards that? Well, I think you know, consistently you work like crazy as a coach to put the kids um, in the best position to succeed. And I think that's through scheme. I think that's through personnel. I think that's how much offense and defense that you carry that's feasible that you can really run on game day. Um, that's imperative. I think you look at your practices. And, if you're struggling in a certain area, then obviously your focal point goes a little bit more to that. Um, if you can identify those situations in those scenarios. So those are you know, things that we've done. And then you know, scheme-wise, it's you're always trying to gain an edge. And uh, we'll consistently try to work to do that. Gary, I was talk oh, go ahead. OK, I was talking with uh, Corey Hall yesterday, and he said that Really on the football game, he wants guys to take like on a character, an alter ego, to really get them psyched out. You know, we use Brian Dawkins as an example. You know, he was Wolverine. He wants Xavier Crawford to be X when he's on the field. Do you have like an alter ego when you're coaching on the sideline? Do you become somebody else? No, I don't. And you know, my frankly, I don't believe this. I don't think this. I know this that you will play how you practice, and there is no magical way to say I'm going to be a different person on game day. I, I don't believe in that. I never have. Um, if you got to rely on a certain song to get you excited or a crowd to get you excited, whether it's your home crowd or the away crowd, um, I don't. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that as a player. I don't believe in that as you prepare a football team. In a football team at this level, you have to have a professional environment. You need to come out and be prepared, and it's your job to be ready on game day. And you know, if you don't like game day, if you're not excited about game day, then um, is it different? Sure, it is. But you're prepared for that moment, and you got to love it. So. Every kid should be ready for every game, regardless of the situation. It's an opportunity to compete at the highest level. When you look at Washington State, everyone wants to talk about the air raid, but how good of a job do they do running the ball to sort of like keep the defense on their toes? I think they do a very good job of running the football. You know, and it uh, shows up on tape, it shows up in games, and some of those passes that they throw, you know, everybody wants to talk about, oh, it's Dinkin and Duncan, and you're throwing the ball here and there. The, they're basically, at the end of the day, I, I would imagine that they look at some of those and say, this is an extension of our running game. And it gets the ball to the edges of the defense quickly and some very talented players' uh, hands. And, and they create speed and space in those situations. And the way they run the formations and uh, their passing trees to get those guys in the flats with speed and space and get the ball out to them, whether it's a quick throw or whether it's a check down, um, you know, there's, uh, there's a piece of that to their throw game that is an extension of the run game, in my opinion. Uh, but they have very good backers.